All right, man, Torture Talk. Like, share, subscribe to the page. Hit the thumbs up button if you like the content. So you know what it is. So today I'm going to be reacting to game talking about why he wasn't at the pop out Kendrick concert. Uh, and I'm going to get my take on it and how I feel about all this. So before I do all that, make sure you hit that thumbs up button, man. Also too, like the content, man. If you like the content. Consider subscribing, man. I want to just thank everybody for subscribing to my channel. I really appreciate it. This channel is growing. I'm trying to get to a million subscribers. I put a lot of hard work in. I am the best, the best person online. That's the best thing I come up with. Anyway, look, like I said, man. So let's get to it. I ain't going to do too much stopping. I'm just going to let him talk and then I'll come back and talk. Let's go. Yeah, we hit a band on real quick. So look, check it out, man. In my DMs and all on these, uh, you know, these blog sites and whatnot. Talking about, you know, the West Coast ain't with you and, and you ain't, you know, you ain't this and you ain't that and you siding with this and that. When the y'all heard me say a thing about who I'm siding with or this and that, nigga. I'll be in my own lane chilling, taking care of my kids out the way. That's how I made it this far in this game, man. A lot of y'all, you know, a lot of y'all fans and shit, it's kind of easy to sit where y'all sitting at y'all house and try to look and gauge this shit from where y'all sitting. But it's a lot of that go on in this industry, man. And then, you know, y'all can see from, uh, you know, what happens to some of, you know, some, some, some of y'all certain celebrities y'all follow and whatnot. This Ain't what it's all cracked up to be and because i don't want to play internet games with all the time or be on this every day or be on these motherfuckers, these people red carpet or doing all this shit, i ain't I like that shit ain't for me man i got into the game thinking that this shit was gonna be one way and it was a whole other way so i had to okay my question to game is what the fuck does this have to do with why you wasn't at the concert you going giving us this whole lecture about what why does why do we care about all this other stuff besides your kids that's fine but outside of that who gives a fuck about all this other stuff what are you talking about you know navigate myself through this you know the whole the, my, my whole time in this shit, i've been this motherfucker since 2003 right because that's when i got signed to aftermath 2003 i've been this shit since 2003 being a solid to everybody and if you ask anybody you know anybody that really know me that's in this industry and i'm talking about anybody you could ask my go ask dr dre man like sit dr dre down and really ask that about who i am and my character and uh you know like what he really feel about me at the end of the day as a man artists and all the rest of that nigga talking about as a man you know what i'm saying r.i.p my Nip, but ask Nip his you know if you could ask Nip himself he would have told you and he did tell you out his own mouth what you know i contributed you know to his career from the beginning bro from the beginning of this shit, on the west coast coming straight out of west side cedar block bombed in Pyru, um which is still my hood to this day they ain't never slacked they never ran they never did nothing but throw this shit up nigga i took that cincinnati hat worldwide nigga and i put on for compton and i put on for the west coast and top dog know what it is kendrick know what it is YG know what it is, Mustard know what it is, Ty Dolla Sign know what it is, Dr. Dre know what it is, Snoop know what it is, Hit Boy know what it is, my Dom Kennedy know what it is, all the powers that be on the West Coast. And I hope my RJ, everybody, you know what I'm saying? Everybody on this know what Chuck Taylor is and what I am and, uh, you know, what I've done for the West Coast. Drake or the ruler know what it was with me. Um, you know, we chopped it. We was in the studio, you know, R.I.P. is so. I, one thing I hate is when the West Coast that I f with um, lose their life. That shit ain't cool to me. That shit ain't cool to me. It's cool to y'all. Y'all like to pit up against each other and then go under. Come on, game. What are you doing, bro? You making yourself look bad. Like, bro, they just asked you why you wasn't at the join, bro. It's a bunch of different things you could have said that you were doing. But you're trying to go on this whole rant of how valid you are. Like, but I'll get into that towards the end. Um, 
Yeah, man. Like, what, what, what's going on here? Let's go. Uh, you know the comments and shit put R.I.P. this and R.I.P. that when it die and then tell a backtrack on your on your gaslight ass fan fanhood. You know what I'm saying? And and tell it, you know. Oh, you should have, y'all should have squashed that and y'all should have been bigger than that. Nah, man, a lot of y'all, a lot of y'all motherfucking fans be the reason this shit is all f***ed up. Now, as far as the motherfucking Kendrick and Drake shit, nigga, that's Kendrick and Drake shit, nigga. You know what I'm saying? They, nigga, Kendrick do his shit, and uh, what he did last night, nigga, that shit was amazing for the West Coast. I sat back and I watched it. I ain't have to be there, you know what I'm saying, to think that this shit was more cool than major. That's cool. I think it's a dub for the coast. I think that what, what K-Dot did for a lot of West Coast last night was hard as I think it was hard I think it was dope of him and, and big hearted of him to do that shit for you know what I'm saying but that nigga learned that shit on the way up the same way that he looking out niggas and looking niggas the shot right there there go the shot see a lot of you niggas a lot of you niggas y'all gonna look at this as it's just game just talking I'm picking apart everything he's saying and he did all that all that all that Oh, that was a dub for the coast. Oh, that was the shit. Oh, that was this. That was that. I mean, it was amazing. But whenever a nigga say but, everything he said before that is irrelevant or doesn't hold as much weight. You looked out for me like that. I looked out for Kendrick like that. I looked out for Nip like that. You know what I'm saying? I looked out for Top Dog before it was, you know, Top I could have... Top dog, um, top dog wanted to motherfucking give me half a top dog. I didn't want nothing from the though, bro. I just wanted to push in the right direction. Nip asked me personally what he could what he could do to pay me back for what I did for him. I met Nip on the streets. I brought Nip in the studio, Encore Studios, Burbank, California. I got on two of his songs and let him go do his thing, nigga. And Nip rose to his celebrity and to his power. But I was just a step on the ladder for something, you know. I was just, you know, there for a that was already going to go to the moon. But you ain't going to try to strike Chuck Taylor and say I ain't do what I did. Bro, come on, bro. What the fuck? What the fuck does this have to do with anything, bro? What does this have to do with anything? I'm just shocked. I'm so shocked that you were going on this long rant talking about all this shit. How real you, how authentic, how validated you are. What does this have to do with why you was not there? Like, what are you talking about? I looked out for everybody on the coast. Ask alone. Ask anybody that you can ask. You go ask Big Boy, DJ Head, Fuzzy, anybody about my game. Chuck Taylor on the West Coast. I ain't did nothing but look out for That's all I did. Put on for my city. I took Compton around the world. I did this shit for years. I did this shit for years. On my own. Every beef, battle, shoot out anything that came towards the west coast of Compton nigga I stood up on that shit, nigga me and my nigga, you know what I'm saying everybody know this shit. and the internet and um you know IG Instagram and Twitter and all these you know mixed emotions dick hopping apps and sites is what this shit up man this shit used to be smooth as shit. so yesterday when I look at you know what Dot did for the city I personally thought that that shit was amazing nigga he didn't have to do that but he did it, nigga. And I thought the shit was dope. As far as my relationship with Drake, Drake is my brother. I f*** with Drake. Nigga, Drake, nigga, if I call Drake and I told the nigga I need this or I need that, he gonna do it. If I tell him my kids want concerts, tickets, he gonna in that. You know what I'm saying? I'm a father first. And, and my loyalty is what? Is loyal to me. You know what I'm saying? If you conspiring, hating, and talking shit behind my back, then it's know what it is with me bro i'm gonna stand on this and you can't move me unless you move me and it take a lot to do that because ain't the only niggas out here pushing no lines on the west coast I ain't the only out here pushing lines i've been in this for 20 what like what like what are you talking about what are you talking about bro some niggas should not have platforms bro you said that you was not online for a while you should have stayed your ass offline, bro. Like, for real. You should have just stayed your ass offline. You shouldn't have had said nothing. You you coming out saying Drake's my brother and Kendrick's the homie. Like, what? 
Bro, come on, bro. Come on, bro. If you ain't if you ain't taking a side, I don't know what the fuck taking a side is. You're trying to straddle the fence, but one of your legs is hanging over a little more than the other. Come on, bro. Years standing on my motherfucking toes in this shit. Like I've been in this shit for 20 years, 20 plus years. And like I said, everybody know what it is with Chuck Taylor. Ask around. DJ quit. Problem. You know, shout out to them just putting their project out like you know every west coast rapper know whether it's you know what i'm saying a young a new nigga or old nigga i was out here nigga cedar block bonkton pyro banging this shit. no you know what i'm saying whack 100 he know i met that when i met whack 100 it was guns drawn he was on shug side Accident. i had guns drawn on motherfucking shug and whack and they had they on us that's what it was what the fuck does you know this have to do with anything, nigga? Why? Why? Who gives a fuck? Who cares, bro? We're not talking about that, nigga. We just asking you why you was not there. You giving us this history lesson about how much of a thug you are. Who gives a shit, nigga? Who gives a fuck? We all know you are the guy. Everyone knows, even Drake, because he shouted you out in Family Matters. You know who Banger said? My nigga Chuck T. So, niggas, everybody know you that guy, bro. Why do you always got to make it seem like you got to be getting this validation? Like, it's like this nigga always seeking validation. Why? You don't feel like people respect you enough? Is that what it is, game? Why do you always do this? You always got to lay out this blueprint on how you was the guy. I was the man. I had guns drawn on niggas. And they had guns drawn on me. I was the nigga that put niggas on. For real. Because niggas know I had guns. I'm a real nigga. We all know already. We know you not no bitch. We know you a real nigga. Why do you constantly got to keep repeating this shit like it's a fucking movie? What are we doing here, nigga? I just don't understand. It. It's, oh, it's so mind boggling to me. It's so mind boggling. How talented this nigga is. He always has to remind you that he is a thug he's an authentic real nigga he always has to remind everybody this why why do you need to remind us you've been telling us for five six fucking albums i don't get it niggas just asked you why wasn't you there and you gave a history lesson of how much of a thug and a gangbanger you are what the fuck does that have to do with anything? You still haven't answered a question. That's what makes me think that you chose a side. You didn't go because you know that you don't want to fuck your relationship up with Drake. Just say that. Just say, look, man, I like both of these niggas. And I don't want to fuck my relationship with up with either, either one. I'm just going to keep it real. You know what I'm saying? Drake's like my brother. I fucked with Drake. I've been fucking with him for years. I'm not going to turn my back on him and I'm not going to turn my back on the coast. I'm going to let these two niggas squabble it out and that's it. But you going on this lesson, nigga. Nobody want to hear that. Nobody want to hear your fucking lesson, nigga. Like nobody want to hear Chuck T's life story. The fuck? Come on, bro. I don't even want to listen to no more because it's a bunch of bullshit. Like for real. Shit crazy, man. I just don't get it. It's like, what are we doing here? You know, you know. Game, you know. You know what I'm saying? You know people respect you out here already. Like, why do you gotta constantly remind us? And here's the crazy thing, right? You're trying to act like you ain't taking a side. Nigga, you did take a side. Because you came at Rick Ross saying that you you felt as though they were jumping your boy. 
Oh, they, I don't like how he was coming at Drake. Then you chose a side, nigga. You chose a side. You dissing Rick Ross for what? I never knew you and Ross had a problem. Why are you going after Ross? You think he's picking on Drake? That's what you think this is? Like, what are we doing here? Don't act as if you ain't choose a side. You did choose a side. And it's okay. Or at least outside of California, it's okay. But I don't know about in California. And I don't know nothing about all that. I'm just saying. I don't care. I'm just saying, you can stop acting as if you didn't choose a side. You did choose a side. You chose Drake over Kendrick. Or you chose to defend Drake. I don't think I'm not going to say you chose Drake over Kendrick. I'm just going to say you chose to side and defend Drake when it came to everybody else. That's how I feel. You know what I'm saying? But stop seeking validation all the time. It's 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 unbecoming. You know what I'm saying? It sounds like some little nigga shit. You supposed to be the big homie. Always talking about how much you the big nigga, the big homie. You did this and did that. But you always seeking validation. From the fans that you hate so much. Hey, like, come on, bro. Hey, man. I'm out of here, man. Torture talk. You know what it is, man. Make sure you like, share, subscribe.